This place looks better in shadow. Always a deal to be found at Celine's. Welcome back. What can I do for you? I have that supply manifest you wanted. Really? You are an endless source of astonishment. You must take what you wish from my stall as your reward. That's everything. You are truly remarkable. Thank you. My debt to you is incalculable. But I am still a merchant, and I do not trade in incalculable commodities. Unwise to return to Thal under the circumstances. I shall proceed to Kyalisa once I have made the necessary arrangements. If you see Arashad, tell him I will meet him there in Corwent's capital. We will have much to discuss. You have many questions, I'm sure. You still here, Celine? Patience, my friend. One does not move establishment overnight. Besides, I should like to clear out a little more stock before I depart. What can I do for you?
A furless cub will arrive soon. She is under my protection. If any harm befalls her, you will answer to me. Aye, sir. You will be returned to Kyalazar as soon as it can be arranged. I should think so, too. General Zar. What now, General? Has the Furless Cub been returned to Kyalazar? Aye. I did as you asked. But I should like to know why you did this. We all have our secrets, Attica. What now, General? Tell me about this shaman who fell to the curse. I have heard only the rumors, but I will tell you what I know. They say his name was Densok, and that he once had a place in the Conclave as speaker for the Flame Craves and Wild Tales. The Flame Crave shamans have always had a certain reputation, you know, for wild magic and strange rites. They say that after the curse, he wandered the wilds, trying to end the blight on the land. But he had taken part in so many strange rituals that his body was infused with magic. The way that the flesh of demons is said to be infused. Some tribes say he was stung by a thorn wasp and it transformed his flesh so that he became one himself and took wing. Others say it was the spores from a blighted wood elemental and he became rooted into the forest as a tree. But whatever the story, he was never heard of again. Mothers tell their cubs that if they don't behave, Densok will turn them into a monster and they will disappear into the night. That's the story, anyway. I don't know if I believe it, but having seen what the curse has done, maybe there is some truth to it. Well? Open the gate to Broken Spear Pass. I must leave. So be it. But do not forget your pledge to Taimuria. We shall be waiting for your return. What now, General? I have business elsewhere in the camp. Very well. Open the gate. As you command. I smell trouble. Taimorian wilds. Once, these forests were the heart and soul of my land. In the spring, the glades rang with the laughter of our cubs. In the autumn, the leaves were a patchwork of gold, red, and brown. You 
have not seen such beauty as the wilds back then. Before the curse. All that matters to me is finding my son and recovering the signet of steel. If we do that, you can blab on about leaves and whatnot as much as you like. No demon shall set foot on Taimurian soil! I am General Tsar. You shall not hinder me. We know what you are, and your kind shall not corrupt our land. You leave me no alternative. Shouldst not have revealed us to thy harlot! Don't you dare talk about Attica like that! But if none of this is spread, our journey is gonna be a lot harder. Judgment. I sting, cursed essence. Our dark spasm cannot control.
Well met, creature that is not. I have been where you are now. Fret not, the crystal below can end your torment. Come see me after you touch the crystal. In the meantime, I must continue my chant. Hum, hum, hum. has passed. A thorn wasp is an ally. Their speed is legendary. Unlike thy own slow pull. 